good morning. Actually, uh, to be honest, no, I I find hard uh, preparing this uh, this uh, main table because first and foremost, I don't have pictures because I'm going to present painting. So, uh, actually, ano lang, uh, one year ago, I actually have picture, pero ako na ako na pala. So, sige na lang. I don't have choice. So, good morning. I'm Mr. Basco from Region 6. Teacher one from Gimbal National High School. Okay, lesson one for painting for quarter two in China, Japan, and Korea. So these are the objectives. Wherein right after my uh, lesson, I uh, I I will come up with a one day lesson only, attainable for one day, because on the on the uh, teacher's guide and you know, they prepared for five sessions. So it is it will not be attainable. So I uh, I selected uh, yes uh, last night. I, I think what will what will be the best uh, topic we need to discuss. So I, I choose um, painting, painting of three countries for one day. All about paintings. So uh, one hour. Yes. Sana kaya ni kung for for me I, I it will be a. Uh, Effective because I'm, I'm using PowerPoint in my class. Good, but those don't have it parang two days or two, two hours yung ano, yung, yung makakain ng ano, ng itong uh, Okay, to start with, so of course, what will be the setting, ma'am? I'm going to teach or I, uh, I will treat them as my students. Yes. Okay, good morning. Good morning po. Hello, ma'am. So before we start our, our uh, lesson for the day, we will have a short uh, activity. If you notice there are four, uh, four, four uh, countries. Can you name all? Everybody? China, Korea, Philippines, Japan. Okay. You think, uh, why do we have this kind? Uh, why I, I uh, present this, uh, these four countries? Because of course, one of course is we to learn other countries and the same thing, we will not forget our own culture. And of course, this time, I would like to ask everybody to please group yourself into... Do we have six groups? Six. Divide, okay. Group one, group two, three, and four. Okay. This time, I would like to please stand and I'm going to play four songs. As you heard that song, we going to create movements. Will you please stand? Again, the, the, the instruction is you create movements by your group, a choreograph, any movements wherein it motivates you to create that movement out of the out of the song. What movements or or yes the actions you made out of the songs? No? Next music. Just feel it's like it is a Japan music. Kung maganda yung sound, it is a Japan music. Oh, it moves with Japan music. Okay? Okay, tapos na. Next. Okay. Please sit down. So, I just said your mood that uh, today you can to learn about mu mu uh, not music, but the uh, culture of Korea, Japan, and uh, China. Do you notice this? Those songs will motivate you because 
later on, in creating those uh, paintings, you will hear or listen those music while you are painting. So those music will motivate you. And we have your question. I have your question. Do please read together. If you are asked to paint, what will be subject matter or object? So if you are asked to paint, what will be your subject matter or object? Who can answer? If you're asked to paint, what will be your subject matter or sub yes, or subject matter or object? Yes, ma'am. I will choose a jar. Why? Why? Because I can only paint that kind of object. Yes. Jar, a very, a very simple uh, object. What else, sir? Jar. For me, I will also paint a jar. Kasi ang jar, ito ay provincia ng China. Ito ang pangunahing hanap buhay sa Bigan City. Okay. Sila ang famous na gumagawa ng jar. Well, what else? Aside from a jar. For me, I want to paint a landscape. Because we do have beautiful landscapes in Sarangani province, especially at the Sarangani Highlands. What else? Last answer. Last answer. If you're asked to paint, what will be your subject or object? Yes, sir. Okay, bahay kubo or native hat. Yes. You notice in a painting, we need to determine what is the subject or. The focus of the painting. So, hindi pwede na uh, lahat iguhi. Dapat alam mo kung ano yung subject mo. So, that will be our topic for today. That the uh, subject on the painting, the same time the object. And but before that, now we will have a first, we will refresh our mind what is, or what are the elements of art. I know you forgot what are the elements of art. Let's have a short video, in two minutes. <laughs> okay, out of this two minutes video, you don't need to, I don't need I don't need to lecture all about elements of art. Just have this video in two minutes and you'll be refreshed on what are the elements of art.
yes, ma'am. Okay. So, with that, out of the video, who can summarize the elements of art? Who can give all the elements of art? Yes? Okay, and out of that, you refresh what are the elements of art? And I don't need to go deeper with that. And we'll proceed now to our lesson, our lesson proper. Okay, let's identify first the picture. If you notice, I don't have real pictures from the uh, East Asia art, but this time I want you to focus first to the subject. We'll try to identify first the subject of the painting. Let's try the first picture. Who can give, or who can, uh, yes, give the, the subject? What is the subject on the painting? Yes, ma'am. Okay, girls, what else? If you were asked to give it a chance to make a title of the painting, what would be the title of the painting? Yes, sir. The three, the three ladies. The three ladies. Okay, next. It's up to you because we, do, we have different perceptions. Next, how about this one? I know you're familiar, but this, this, uh, this picture will be... Will be uh, will be introduced for the third uh, grade nine. Painted by Claude Monet. Yeah. The water lilies of Claude Monet. So what, uh, from the title of water lilies, of course the subject is? Uh, okay, I'll have the arms water lilies. Next. How about this one? Yes, I am by? What is the subject of the painting? Suffering. Suffering. Treatment. But you're going to, uh, you're going to change the title. That's for what will be a title of the painting. Yes, Pa. Crew? Ruins. 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 Ruins of war, yes. Next, Pa. Jesus I ask How about this one? How about this one? What is the subject of this painting? Market yes, Paul. Fruits? Okay, you're going to ask what will be the title of painting? This painting painted by our famous um, uh, student painters. Marinsala. Okay, the fruit vendors is the title of this painting. Of course, the, the subject is is the foot vendors. But of course, on your book, I appreciate you of your book. Look at the look at your book on activity two. There are pictures, the Asian art pictures. We're in you're going to identify the subject. The first picture. Our book would have page number. Uh, Okay, on the green, we do a page number, we show at the uh, one-fourth of, the, of that book. Okay, let's identify, if we try to identify the subject matter on the local and foreign, like the uh, Western, Western paintings, this time we'll go deeper with the East Asian art paintings. But sorry to inform you, I don't have pictures. Just load your note on your uh, workbook. Uh, after the Mwayang Kulit. Okay. May see the hands though, so... Uh, page. Hello, page. Uh, walang page number po. Page 1.0. Okay, let's have the first picture. Picture number one. What is the subject of the painting? Yes, sir? The Great Wall of China. The Great Wall of China. What makes the Great Wall of China the subject, of course? Because of its what? The Great Wall occupies, even though we have mountains here, but still it strikes to your what? Your vision, the, the wall. Next. Picture number two. How about picture number two?
It is? Okay, the Mount Fuji. But what strikes first on your mind? The hotel? Do you know? Okay, the Mount Fuji. Okay, and, and so on. So, of course, out of the pictures, you will come up now with different types of paintings of different countries. Let's pick the first one, the other one painting, the, um, the picture number, number five. Jar. The jar. 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 Jar of what country? China. Korea. 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 But if I have a picture, if I have a picture, we have to show it one picture per page. So that if you, if you will be uh, cleared out what is the detail of the picture. Because we on the on the book is it's not detailed, no? So um, if I have no? but this time uh, I know you uh, you are cleared out now what are the example of paintings of the Korea, China and Japan. Let's proceed now to activity. And of course, out of that paintings, we will now go deeper what types of painting, what are the elements of art applied on that painting. And on your book page, right up on the page after the uh, pictures, we have here the history of painting. If you notice, the first picture shows shows what? On a first picture above. We have two pictures there. Uh, yes, the first picture at the back page of the picture that we discussed a while ago about the prehistoric, prehistoric uh, paintings. Nakita ba? Okay, we will make additional type. Okay, look at the picture. Okay, kung hindi, kung hindi makita sa aklat. Okay, the painting. What can you say about the painting? Yes, Paul. Yes. It's a bull. Yes, bull. What else? Out of the painting, what, can, what else? Who? Can you please read together? Read together the content about the picture. Ready? Start. To, to start with, go. We start with, did you know that painting started from the Christ man? Use red over Okay, stop. Okay, stop. Let's have one volunteer to read it, to make it clear. Yes, sir. To start with, did you know that painting started from prehistoric man? He used red ochre and black pigment. It, shall I continue, sir? It often showed hunting scenes of man chasing various animals such as horses, rhinoceros, lions, buffaloes, mammoths. These prehistoric paintings were drawn on the walls of caves, blocks of stones, etc., and found all over the world, even in China. Okay. Who can, uh, do you have any uh, insights about the paintings? What, what made the painters paint this kind of paintings? Yes, sir. Yes, and exactly and what they saw during that time, what 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 uh, what happened during that time? Anong makita may, uh, Of course, kung ipinta nila yung bull, mayroong bull talaga nung unang panahon. Kasi so, ipinta nila. And how about on the uh, the uh, the lower uh, on the uh, below the picture, the second one? The history of Eastern painting is as old as the civilization of China. It is historically comparable to Western painting. Eastern countries continue to influence each other's production of arts over the centuries. Okay, look at the picture. What can you say about the picture? Horses. 
Yeah, there are horseback riders. Yes, horseback riders. There's been horseback riding. You like just like the movie movie Mulan. And of course it shows what? The importance of horse during that time. And they use horse as their what? Mode of transportation. Yes. If we to compare that going back to our previous lesson of building setting. Can you remember any paintings early? The earliest painting? At uh, Palawan. The cave, yes, the caveman at the specific what? Uh, Tarun Cave? Uh, makikita yung, yung paintings. Parang ano na, um, uh, etching. No? Parang mga tao nagahunt ng animals. Meaning, ito ay nagpapakita na yung kabuhayan o yung, yung life o ng mga tao noong unang panahon ay survival. They need to compete. They need to compete with the weather, the environment. At the same time, they need to compete to the animals in order to survive. So, through paintings, we can analyze or we can uh, picture out what happened during the past. What else? The paintings of on the jar, on the jar, the um, uh, the manunggul jar. Yes, thank you, sir. Who can uh, remember the manunggul jar? Compared to the types of painting, do we, there, there are similar similarities. The way of life, because in manunggul jar you can see the way of life of the early uh, Filipinos. And above the manunggul jar, the cup is what? There is a man, si, ano? Nagisiling. Ito yung nagpapakita na, ano? The life after death con concept. Paniniwala na kung saan, kung tayo ay mamatay, tayo ay magka-travel sa kabilang buhay. We're in, presently, we are still we are, uh, we Filipinos, especially Christians, are, be are believers of life after death. That's why we do good things because, sabi nila, kung ikaw ay yung bad during, na ikaw ay nabubuhay, you will suffer kung ikaw ay mamamatay no? sa kabilang buhay. So we are believers of that life after death. And of course, okay, tingnan sa, no? sa, sa screen. Sa China, Japan, Korea, ano meron bang similarities? Uh, who can identify the similarities of the types of painting? Is there a uh, common? Who can, who can point out? Let's try. Ma'am. May madam. Ma'am. In what specific country merong magkapareho sa, ano, sa other country? Uh, let's talk about first of all yung, yung tatlong country the China, Japan, and Korea Meron, yes, the landscape if you notice China, they are used to paint landscape the same time with sa, uh, the Korea what else? yes bamboo, to what country? China and Korea Meron sa Japan. Yes, actually, meron sa Japan. So, they are, they are used to painting na yung, paint, yung bamboo na sa left, uh, left side, na empty sa, no, sa, sa right side. Okay. And this time, with your group, you are going to identify the sample of paintings out of the pictures on the first activity. On the first activity. I don't know. Uh, next page, pala. Sorry. Next page. Ah, yes, yes. The first, the first pictures that I have uh, asked you to identify the subject. Okay. Sample of paintings na makikita sa China at anong elements of art ang makikita on that painting? Lines. 
Okay, let's start first with the first column of China. Sa China, ano yung mga paintings? No, no, uh, I'm asking with the pictures or the first picture. Okay, because we don't have sample of the pictures. Okay, try the... We have here, sa China, we have... On first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth picture. The landscape paint, the landscape painting of, of Chinese. Okay, look at the painting. Try to imagine. Or, a, a presume na ito ay may color painting talaga. Kahit black and white tayo. O, anong makikita sa painting? Let's start with China sa papit is the landscape. O sa landscape, ano yung mga elements of art na makikita sa landscape? Okay, let's start with lines. Anong klaseng line? Diagonal? Straight? Zigzag? Okay, answer. Yes, ma'am. Merong vertical lines. Yes. Habang sa puno. Diagonal. Sa humanities, ipapakita saan yung diagonal line, diagonal line sa painting. If you notice, yung larawan, merong nakailay na, na puno. So, you get to follow that line, that is the diagonal line. You get to follow that painting, that trace here in diagonal line is the focus of the, the painting. What else? Hindi ako makaka... Uh, I can't ask question about color because it's black and white. What else? Aside from lines. Ano pa? Shapes. Shapes. Anong shapes ang makikita dito? Irregular shapes. Yes. Yes. Organic because we have trees. Okay. Next po. Okay. Presyo na, na discuss na lahat. So this table, I, I made it only, no? This table can classify faster. Now, kung makikita sa aklat, walang classification, but you can use this to make it fast. So, it's a tabular form. Makikita talaga yung comparison. How about this one? Ito yung detail. Sa China, sa painting sa China, ano yung line? Ano pa? Anong types of line na nakikita? Meron pa color? Meron pa... Ito po yung detail. Ito yung same detail na, ano, na, na, na tabular form to make comparison. But ito, ito yung himay-himayin yung painting. For example, doon tayo sa Japan. So the great wave na pinta ni Hokusai. Hokusai, no? The great wave. The Great Wave, if you know, if you're going to, no, to, to uh, go deeper in the history of the, the Great Wave, merong, uh, talag, the, the, merong malaking alon na gustong, ano to, um, na, that is higher than the Mount Fuji. So, the, the, the painter, uh, ato dito, uh, talagang nangyari yan sa history ng Japan, na merong malaking alon na na mas mataas pa sa Mount Fuji. And with that history, ipinintay ito. Well, it is very historical nangyari sa Japan. And, if you notice the Mount, the, the Great Wave, who are familiar with the Great Wave? Diba, the Great Wave is a black, um, a wood block printing. The first wood block printing, not the painting actually. The Great Wave. So, if you notice, ano ba, if, if you're going to, Ah, uh, himay himay yung elements of art sa Great Wave. Of course, ang una makikita yon ay linya. The formation of wave. Of course, it is wavy, curved linear. Huh? Yes, curved linear. We have also angular because of the what? The Mount Fuji. There's also a big difference between the wave and the Mount Fuji. That's why naging the Great Wave, hindi naging the Mount Fuji kasi malaki yung, yung object ng wave kaysa sa Mount Fuji. Una mo makikita yung the wave kumpara sa Mount Fuji. Yes, mas malaki yung Mount Fuji. That's why yung title is the Great Wave. Okay, this time, let's go back again to our uh, to the paintings. What are the paintings? We're in 
um, sa province of China, yung pwede mo mahintulad sa Philippine paintings. The landscape. Do we have sample landscape? Yes. Of course, the famous Fernando Amorsolo, yung 14 year Fernando Amorsolo is landscaping. Yung, yung lugar na the, uh, lahat. Huh? What else? Magalas sa sample paintings here. So you, need, you, you need to go deeper with this area para ma-reflect yung bata kung ano, ano talaga yung mga nakikita sa paintings ng, ng East Asian country. Of course, the output, copy and paste. This time, you'll be given uh, a 30 minutes to, not only but we still have 5 minutes left. Uh, in a one whole piece of band paper, you copy this you copy and paste. But this time, I will allow you to create your own. Using this subject, you can enhance this kind of painting. So with this landscape painting, landscape painting, you will create your own. You copy the landscape, but you will enhance. You add color. You can add uh, Sun, you can have sun here. You make it sunset or sunrise. Little flowers with birds, etc. So I will allow you to to enhance more about this painting, and that is that will be your output. So mare naming dagdagan o bawasan. Ah, wag dag wag ah wag bawasan ba dagdagan na improve. He improved. So, that's all. So, after, you know, the, the out, I'm expecting you to create this output, a sample painting. But to be honest, the painting I've shown is not uh, an East Asian painting. But if you're in, in the classroom setting, you will have your own uh, sample of East, uh, East Asian art, like the wave. Then ask the child to create their own make a design, add more to make the great way better. That's all, for Thank you. Okay, let's give a big hand for Sir Abasco. Okay, Basco, 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 Sir. Sorry po. Okay. Now, uh, bago po tayo mag... Uh, parang kung hindi lahat po malakpang. <laughs> anyway, bago po tayo magsimula ulit na susunod natin magde-demo, may we request Ah, ang po ba yung susunod sa natin magde-demo, sir? Sir, ano pong area yung susunod natin? Music? Okay, music. May we request all the art teachers? Sino pong art teachers? Okay. Ay? What? Talaga pong ito? Yun pong art groups. Art groups. Okay, yun pong arts group. Sila po ang pupunta sa harapan. The music teachers will be observers. Yung mong art groups ang magiging estudyante. May may request po muna ganun. Sige po, ayusin po muna natin yung ating class. Saka, nire-request ko yung po yung 